Hello, welcome back to the channel. A few weeks ago, I tested all Bembole PLA filament types, but I tested only three basic properties, the looks, the layer adhesion, and I did some hook tests. And then with these three filaments, I decided to do that detail testing method, which I regularly do on this channel, so the results are comparable with each other. These are PLA basics, stuff, and carbon fiber. Now about the tough, I already mentioned that uh, the Bamboo Lab will stop selling them when they will be sold out. And in the meantime, I got the answer from the Bamboo Lab about the reason. You can see the text below, but basically they told me that users reported that did not see big difference in print quality between the basics and the tough. Now I have a message to all those users. If you are able to measure the layer attention, then you can write another email to the Bamboo Lab that you want back the tough filament. If you are not able to measure it, you can just refer to my videos. But of course, let's wait how it will perform in this video with these regular testing methods. How about the carbon fiber? Well, uh, something what I expected in the previous video, it has a little bit weaker layer attention because usually those carbon fibers are quite small and actually they reduce the cross section of the material. But I still think that there are some uh, load uh, types where the orientation of the carbon fibers will actually help. We will see in this video, but I'm quite sure that it always helps with the temperature resistance. But this will be also tested in this video. Now, in the previous video, uh, with basics and tough, I printed the test objects on P1P. But in this video, all three filaments will be printed on X1 carbon. And don't forget, it has a harder nozzle, which has a little bit uh, weaker thermal conductivity. With this, uh, usually the layer adhesion is approximately 10% weaker, according to my test from the X1 carbon review. But at least the results will be more comparable with each other. These are my test objects in the slicers, and you can see they are solid inside. I'm using here maximum number of the walls. And I will insert here some real-time footages. This is printing carbon fiber PLA. And look at those beautiful surfaces. This is the tough. Last two objects for the layer attention test. And this is basic. And also here printing last two objects for the layer attention test. I will insert here one time-lapse video. And after this, all test objects are printed, ready for mechanical testing. I always have several tests in the progress, so these are some glass and carbon fiber materials and some TPU filaments. The tensile or pulling test with horizontally printed test objects. I'm starting with PLA Basic. 82.9 kg average. And then the tough version. 86.2 and this is the carbon fiber version a little bit weaker but similar results the brake rod is very similar but it is interesting to see new types of the brake i didn't see this kind of brake earlier and now the layer attention test with vertically printed test objects the pla basic 45 which is good value and i know the tough will be the strongest from the previous video 53.9 and now the carbon fiber version and for this type of the filament this is not bad result and all broke on a small concession area correctly two sided shear stress the numbers are similar but the carbon fibers was a little bit stronger because the orientation of those fibers really helps in this kind of stress now three point bending test here you can see my equipment where all load is placed, but I will measure the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds and I place these loads one by one. And this is speed up time lapse video. Even here I can see that the deformation on carbon fiber version was smaller compared to the other two. And after this test I can see some minimal deformation on two regular PLA materials and very minimal on the carbon fiber version. And now the torque test. This one is the basics, but I will show you side by side. I'm measuring the load at 90 degree rotation and the maximum load. And this is how they look like after this test. The ISOD impact test with these notch test objects and the half kilogram hammer. Basics. Zero position. Tough carbon fiber. 
I was expecting the opposite order of the results, but each of these filaments were extremely tough compared to the regular PLA. Let's analyze the picture, so this is the scale and this is the zero position of the hammer and this is after breaking the basic PLA, the tough and the carbon fiber version. And basically from this I can see that the most uh, brittle material is the carbon fiber version, but if I measure everything from the zero position, I will get the age, the difference in potential energy, and I can use this value to calculate the breaking energy. The creep test, the deformation under the constant load, which will be 1.25 kilograms, and I will measure the distance between two reference surfaces. The position is locked for more accurate measuring and the biggest initial deformation I can see on basic PLA and the smallest on the carbon fiber version. And I will follow this deformation in the next five days. This is the fifth day, biggest deformation on the basic and the smallest on the carbon fiber, but let's measure them. 20.30 And now let's remove the load. After five minutes, the minimal deformation is on the carbon fiber version and on the other two is very similar, a little bit more on PLA basic. And now the temperature test and these three are materials from this video. This is speed up time maps video and the first deformation I noticed at 52 degrees Celsius and the carbon fiber started approximately at 61 degrees Celsius. I will stop the experiment now because I'm curious how soft they are. So those fibers scarce against the deformation, but the material is quite soft. Now they are equally hard, but it was interesting to see after the test, actually the carbon fiber deformed less, but uh, it was softer compared to these two filaments. So this means those fibers helps with holding the position. And maybe this was annealing temperature for the other two materials. Now let's analyze the results and let's start with the creep test and uh, we can see even the deformation was smaller with the carbon fiber version but also the creeping, the difference between two days, what we can see on this table or on this graph and we can see very minimal creeping of the carbon fiber version compared to the other two. On the tensile or pulling test these results are very similar, the strongest was actually the tough and on the layer adhesion test, uh, something what we could expect from the previous video, so the best was here, the tough, but actually for the carbon fiber version, this is also very good value. On the shear stress, very similar numbers, but thanks to this orientation of the fibers, the strongest was the carbon fiber version. Three point bending test, and this is a deformation on these loads after 30 seconds, but always this is more important data. And here we can see that the smallest deformation we can see on the carbon fiber version, and on the other two, the deformation was very similar. On the torque or twist test, uh, well, the most important is the load at 90 degree rotation, and here we can see that the strongest was the tough filament. On the ISOD impact test, well, uh, I was expecting an opposite order here, or maybe the tough to be the toughest, but actually all three filaments are very tough and uh, they are much stronger in this case compared to the regular PLA or even PETG. And this is the temperature test and here again what I already mentioned at the beginning of the video that the carbon fiber was the best in this test too. And just to mention the price, the basic is the cheapest, uh, don't forget the tough will be unfortunately discontinued and this is the price of the carbon fiber version. I already mentioned that the tough PLA will be discontinued by Bamboo Lab, but it looks like this basic PLA is more or less proper replacement for it. Of course, I will still miss that great layer adhesion. This is very important property for me and I bought several spools from this tough PLA until it's available in their store. And actually, I'm using PLA for sometimes from the mechanical parts. If it will be used only on room temperature, not uh, under constant higher stress, then why not? Just one quick example. This is a sandbox toy printed uh, three years ago. And since that, it is constantly in wet sand on winter, summer, in rain, snow, doesn't matter. And maybe the color is a little bit different now, but for the looks, it is in a perfect shape. Of course, I'm not sure about its mechanical properties, but it looks great still. Now about the carbon fiber PLA. I already tested five or six similar materials, but they were very weak. 
they added carbon fibers but extremely weak layer adhesion something similar and actually this one is quite good and looks like now the, I can see several carbon fiber PLA filaments from other brands which are quite acceptable and I have one more testing with this similar material and after this I will choose one and I will do the annealing with that material because uh, I will not use the carbon fiber PLA filaments because I know those orientation of carbon fibers will help against the bending or something like that but because of the possibility of annealing without some bigger deformation and warping and if the material is worth it then why not I hope that uh, with this we will get quite strong material because don't forget PLA is quite strong but the problem is with this uh, temperature resistance and with annealing we can get a uh, temperature resistance up to I don't even 150 degrees Celsius but as I mentioned regular PLA with the form warp shrink so they will be not usable if you want precise mechanical parts I hope you will follow me to that video too and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell button if you want to get the notifications about that new video and uh, unfortunately I can see that uh, most of my subscribers don't get notifications about my new uploads I can see very easy from statistics if I have 47,000 subscribers almost and only between 2 and 4,000 views per video and actually 50% of those are subscribed then I know that most of my subscribers don't get the notification. Okay, so the video will be created, so it's up to you if you want to get the notifications or not. I hope uh, we will meet in that video. Until that, thank you for watching and happy printing!